When you think of Porsche, you think of style, substance, and elegance. When pairing with AOC, you get a monitor that is able to perform at its highest level and looks this stunning. Let's discuss this as I review the AOC Aegon Pro 31.5 Mini LED Gaming Monitor. The model number for reference is PD32M. Let's begin with the style and how our monitor looks. As you'll notice, it's made of a mixture of materials used for the column, stand, and monitor housing. The monitor requires a large desk with a footprint that enables stability and sturdiness. But believe me, this monitor isn't going anywhere fast. Or, as a Porsche may do, it may go somewhere very fast. For reference, its size with a stand has a width of 715.2mm and a depth of 290.1mm, so you will require a large desk. The stand is made from a metal frame and offers rubberized feet to make sure it doesn't mark your desk. However, I wouldn't worry as when connected to the stand, its weight becomes 11.52 kg and when removing the stand and column if you choose to use a vessel mount or an arm connection the weight drops down to 8.29 kilos. As you see there's cable management options between the feet that allows you to weave your cables throughout. This is really handy and helps to make sure you have a clean and tidy desk. I am forever tidying my desk, move away for one minute and it's messy again. It's really highly annoying and it's a silver colour as well. I must say the frame is a silver brushed aluminium metal design. In the centre is where you'll find your wireless gaming pad, which is a shortcut keypad that lets you quickly switch display settings in different games, like racing or FPS, or you can set in other options. You have the ability to change settings, jump between connected devices, saving you having to reach to the joystick control stick that's around at the bottom right hand corner. There's different settings and different inputs that you can use and jump through. Or you could use this space, as I have done in the previous time, to house your wireless charger. In this middle section, you will also notice an extra touch here with the changing logo between Aegon and Porsche. You will notice that AOC and Porsche have sprinkled these extra features throughout your monitor. It may be in the menu system that looks very different compared to previous monitors I've reviewed, or actually it begins when you power up your monitor. It has its own starting sound, one of those little extras that we all love. So let's talk about the key aspect of any monitor, which is your display and what you'll be enjoying all of your content on. Believe me, this is amazing to watch movies on, play games on, or even, if you have to do the boring 9-5, till five, even work on. I've had the pleasure of reviewing this monitor for a couple of months now. Within that time, I'm working my nine to five job. I'm covering Ricky's tech talk, social media channels, and also enjoying some kickback time at watching movies and playing games. I'll talk a little bit more about my personal thoughts as we move on. But I just wanna say the large display really does help as well from a visually impaired person's point of view. So this display measures either 31.5 inches or 80 centimeters diagonally across the display and has a resolution of 3840 by 2160, offering an Ultra HD viewing pleasure. It's an IPS panel that is made up of 10-bit mini LED display. Being an IPS display, you have the benefit of wide viewing angle of 178 degrees across the horizontal line, allowing others to see what you're working on or what game you're enjoying. So if you're in the office and using this monitor, please make sure you're working. A quick response rate is key for gamers with a one millisecond response time gray to gray paired with a low input lag means that you get ghost-free and shutter-free gaming whilst having the ability to never miss your target or in my case hit everything but the target it's always fun playing games its refresh rate is set at 144 hertz this depends on the connected devices and the port used such as the display port or the hdmi for those of you who are pc gamers this monitor offers adaptive sync technology which allows for dynamic adjustment of your monitor's vertical refresh rate to the frame rate of your graphics card from your gpu which eliminates tearing stuttering and juddering so again you'll pair up your gpu with this monitor and use adaptive sync technology. So this monitor has flicker free technology so for those that will notice a horizontal flicker sometimes on the display flicker free technology removes that for you which is paired with low blue mode which removes the harsh blue light that leads to eye fatigue and tiredness which means your gaming sessions can last all night or if you have to work throughout the day you can do and it allows you to game at night so it's easy on your eyes and allows for longer gaming sessions. You then also have shadow control which is adjustable shadow controls enhancing dark areas of your content which means that it won't make the bright areas too bright but actually you can see what's happening in those dark areas and again this depends the settings you have it on and it depends the devices connecting. Having VESA certified display HDR 1400 delivers a dynamically different visual experience. Some of the monitors I've recently looked at 
that I've only had Display HDR 400, so this has a huge jump, which means when it comes to brightness and contrast and colors, your content will be enjoyable and more real to life as what the director, game developers, or even what your boss wanted you to read. With the Display HDR 1400, it is able to deliver a fuller palette of rich colors and able to bring your scenes to life. As I just mentioned, that means the movie you're watching, you'll actually see the colors that the movie director wanted you to see. The game developers will show the colors that they want you to see, and it makes it for a more engaging experience. I mentioned the brightness there just briefly, and this monitor offers a peak brightness of 1600 nits, and over one billion colors allowing for photos and videos to pop with color when using Adobe Suite. Color accuracy is important and the monitor offers 122% DCI-P3 coverage and sRGB coverage of 156%. Now we've spoken about the display and all of its key details. What do you think? There's a lot to take in there and it offers a lot. As a Porsche car you always get substance, you get style and you get extra features and believe me you really do with this monitor. So now we've talking about our display and its weight and its width and its size, you may wish to place your monitor in the correct position for you to work all day and game all night. Offering an ergonomic design allows for your monitor to adjust. You have a height adjustment of 150 mils up and down. You have a swivel adjustment of minus 30 to plus 30. This monitor is able to pivot 90 degrees. So this means that you can have it in portrait or landscape mode, depending on what content you're viewing. So in portrait mode, you may wish to use this for social media. You may wish to use this for stocks and shares photo editing, magazine editing, or even if you want to just scroll through social media and enjoy everything there on a 90 degree portrait option. And then finally, you have the option of tilt. So I really utilize the tilt feature on my monitors. So it either goes to its highest point of 150 mils and then tilts down, which gives me a minus five. Or I can tilt it up from the bottom to a plus 20. It depends what you want to use, but with this ergonomic design, you're able to move and adjust your monitor in whatever way you want to. So it's not all about the front of your display, it's time to look at your connections and connectivity options. So taking a swing round to the back, you see HDMI 2.1 times 2, a display port 1.4 times 1. You've got a USB hub, which is USB 3.2 Gen 1 times 4. The power consumption of this monitor is 80 watts, so it will take a lot of power, but just make sure to switch it off at night. You've got an earphone and microphone combination port. So some of the other options when coming to connectivity is that you've got USB-C, so you can connect into your Windows device. Couldn't get this to work with my Mac. I'm really struggling with USB-C and Macs, it doesn't seem to want to play ball. But when connecting a Windows device, you get a 90 watt power delivery. So you've got USB-C that will show you your display, utilize your display, extend your display for you. So you can go from a 13 inch up to sort of 31.5 inches, which is really helpful with one cable and it's a one cable system. You've got the VES amount 100 by 100 mils. So again, if you want to remove that weight of the column and stand, you can do. Add your own VES amount or use an arm. As some of you know, Porsche have some great colors and AOC blend that with RGB lighting that lets you flash your colors. The AOC Light FX offers an immersive gaming experience by emitting ambient light during your gaming. So you can choose between 14 default modes, which are in the settings option, which I'll show you, or you can customize the technology to flash your team colors, especially if you're playing in eSports events. Options to pulse your colors, which means that they just look great and it depends what you want to do when gaming. So sometimes I have the lights on, sometimes I don't. You will need to see this during the night. The brightest option is bright but I would say during the night you get to see this the most but again it's great to have RGB lighting who doesn't love it also with this monitor it has a KVM switch which allows you to boost your setup without compromising the comfort and the messiness of your desk you can have multiple devices connected but use a single keyboard and mouse so you don't have to have multiple different connections there and again it's just in settings toggle this on and away you go you also have picture by picture which discovers endless possibilities of multi view so it separates the screen in half to displaying two different devices simultaneously. Perfect option for multitasking and really fun when you're trying to work and you could watch YouTube. Or as I've seen recently during the Super Bowl, someone was gaming and watching the Super Bowl. So that'd be great where this picture by picture simultaneous multitasking would be really efficient. And believe me, when it comes to the audio side of this monitor, you're gonna hear this. I've had it on level one or two most of the time. The sound has been incredible. It offers DTS sound, has surround sound system, and of course you get that starting sound. That's thanks to dual eight watt speakers, rich clear audio experience for gaming, for movie watching, 
or just even scrolling through social media, it's really loud, I must say, super loud. So I haven't had to have it too high at all. So that wraps up the key details and my experience of using this monitor over the last couple of months. And going back to that opening title, I said that Porsche is about style, elegance, and substance. And I think this monitor offers that. What do you think? Leave a comment below. So just wrapping up with my personal thoughts, when I use this monitor, I know from the beginning power up, when you get that special effect sound to just viewing your monitor for everyday life or even the ability to game on my PS5 or my Xbox or even on my Mac as well, I've tried to do a little bit of gaming on my Mac, but definitely I need to move into the PC gaming era. Just I haven't got there yet, which is a shame. I know this monitor has the features and options that most gamers require for a high level of gaming enjoyment, and that's what you'll receive. I don't play to a high level of gaming, but I've enjoyed using this monitor, and it's been really enjoyable when it's just been sat there watching content on, or even when I've had to do the boring nine to five day job. All of my emails, Word documents, just look great. Photo editing is a breeze. It looks really nice. Colors look correct, accurate. But it just depends what you want a monitor for. Like Porsche cars, the monitor is ready to go as soon as you turn on the console or open a game. It rears into life and away you go. Offers great image, no stutter, no lag. I haven't experienced any issues. There's loads of settings to go through and set the right image for you. There's also loads of options when it comes to sound and there's even more options when coming to the ambient RGB lighting system that runs around the back. So make sure you delve in and go through that settings. If you have any questions though, please leave a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help. What are your thoughts? What game would you play first? Leave your comment below and I'll make sure to check out any of your suggestions. If you need to know more information, check out the link in the video description to AOC's website. If you want to purchase this monitor here in the UK, it will cost between 1,200 to 1,400. I will leave a link to Amazon UK in the video description. Please note, purchase through this link will help support the channel but won't cost you any extra. From me, Ricky, all that's left to say is thank you for watching and see you soon.